Hello and welcome to my December favorites and fails video. We have a lot of fails in here and I'm also pulling in some items like clothing and some jewelry and things that I've been liking over the last month or so to share with you because I did miss November because well, the holidays, right? <laughs> so we'll go ahead and jump right into it in a second, but in case you're to my channel, hi, I'm Nicole. I'm 53 years old and I live in the San Francisco Bay Area. Welcome, and if you like videos about makeup, skincare, hair care, and some cooking thrown in once in a while, you're in the right place, and hit that subscribe button and give this video a like if you enjoy it. Okay, let's start with the first item. We will start with a fail. Actually, let's do all the fails first, get those out of the way. This is the Mamond Calming Hydro Sleeping Mask, and I'm super excited when I received this because, ooh, I love sleeping masks, and I've got dry skins, and it says calming. I put it on, and I was like, huh, okay. I just kind of, something felt kind of off about it. I almost felt like it was a little bit drying, and I thought that was strange because it says here, it is a calming hydro, meaning water, right, sleeping mask, and it says it's a moisturizing sleeping mask containing calendula leaves, soothes and moisturizes your skin while you sleep, helps you awake with a hydrated, energized complexion. Well, it didn't do that. And then I thought, okay, one morning, I thought I'd just put it onto my clean face, because sometimes I'll do that. I work from home, so I'll throw on a sleeping mask in the morning. You know, why not try it for a few hours and see what happens? I got that same feeling, and I had put it straight on my skin. I had nothing else underneath it, you know, because at night I will often layer. And they say just use this as your last step before you go to bed. Well, I go and I check the ingredients and after water, alcohol is the number one ingredient. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not one of those people who freaks out because there's some sort of an alcohol in a product, because I know with some products, there are types of alcohol, or even there's you know the regular alcohol that might not technically be good for your skin, but it's balanced out by other ingredients. But this is number two, and I can feel it. I could tell before I even read the ingredients. So yeah, this is a huge fail. Uh, I don't know exactly who this will work for, um, but I did not like this. I did not feel like it hydrated me at all, and, um, yeah, first time I've tried this brand too, so maybe they have other things that are good. I don't know, let me know if you are familiar with this brand. This next product is really weird because I was using it for quite a while and actually liking it. It is a root touch-up for your hair, and it's just called Cover Your Gray. I got it off of Amazon, it got good ratings. You know, I got the color, you know, it's kind of for blonde, kind of a very light brown, and you just kind of touch up with it, and it worked so well for me, I shot a video about it. I started editing the video and I realized I cannot use this because with the light reflecting on it, I could see how bizarrely reddish brown it was. It looked so bizarre. So I was like walking around using this and to me, just putting it on in my normal mirror, you know, touching up, it was great. Stayed on all day, covered my gray. I thought it was good. But when the light hits it, it looks so, so bad. So um, yeah, maybe if you have, you know, dark hair, um, I could see if this were like a black or brown, this would would work really well because I don't think you would have that same issue because the color is dark and there's more pigment to it. Uh, but yeah, this color, um, which is, let's see, this has it on it. It doesn't say, but it's the lightest one that they have. Um, yeah, this was a no. Before we talk about these next items, first of all, let me make clear, I love Selena Gomez. I think she's awesome ever since the Barney days. Cute little girl, beautiful woman, amazing singer. So this has nothing to do with her. But um, I was gifted some items from Rare Beauty. These were gifted to me by Sephora inside JCPenney. They were so kind to do that. And uh, don't forget, there are Sephora's inside JCPenney. So if you're ever like in a small town that doesn't have a Sephora and you want to go to a Sephora, very often you can find them in there. When my son went to Chico State, I had forgot like mascara or something and I had a gift card to Sephora and I could just go on in there and use it. It was fantastic. I am very grateful that they were gifted to me, but they just did not work. Maybe it's because it's not meant for 53 year old people. <laughs> Maybe that's it. I don't know. But the foundation just went on to where all my pores showed. Um, the concealer just did not cover much for me. And the pack is cool though. I mean, the packaging is really cool. And then their eyeshadow palette, I have to say, it's absolutely gorgeous packaging. I like the colors and everything. You know, I mean, look at that. It looks really pretty. And these colors totally, totally speak to me. But I don't know. They just didn't last very well. Uh, they just, I did not get the performance that I get from my favorite eyeshadow palettes. So, you know, I will pass this on. Maybe one of my nieces who, uh, they're far, far younger, <laughs> maybe this stuff will work for them. Uh, but I just, I just did not find that these worked very well for me. And I'm really sad because I really, really wanted to like my, I, I tried them many, many times to see if there's just something I was doing wrong and I just, I couldn't get them to work. 
Then before we move away from Rare Beauty, the lipstick was really good. It's a nice lipstick, you know, good color, lasts like a lipstick should. I found it to be hydrating and nice, and the packaging is really pretty. It is white though, so it can get smudgy, so just be careful of that. Uh, but the lipstick was good. Now let's talk about Urban Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner by Shu Umura. I got these a couple months ago. I have been using them, as you can see, about halfway through both of them, and they're very, very nice. They are very luxurious feeling. They're very hydrating without wearing your hair down. I can be guaranteed a good hair day when I use these, so these get a thumbs up. Oh, before we move to the next item, I just have to say these smell so, so good. They have a very rich, delicious scent to them. In fact, I had put these away because I have so many shampoos and conditioners going at once that drives my husband crazy. So I tried to, you know, take some out and kind of cycle through different ones. So I only have, you know, 10 sets of shampoo and conditioner going at once in the shower. Um, and my daughter said, hey, where's the one that smells really good? Like, I think many of my shampoos and conditioners smell really good. Which one are you talking about specifically? She's like, oh, the one, you know, kind of the brownish bottle, kind of the golden brown. Model, and I was like, oh, this one. So she calls it the one that smells really good. So that's two of us who love the scent. Another new thing I've tried is by By Nacht. That it, Nacht is night in German. I speak German. And uh, this was sent to me by Skin Store. This is a new brand that they now carry. And the interesting thing is that the brand was started because uh, the woman who started it had small children, was having trouble sleeping. And when she looked into it, she was trying to figure out why her skin looked extra, extra bad. And she found that there's a huge connection between sleep and how your skin kind of replenishes itself at night. I guess the maximum happens between 11 p.m. and 4 a.m. And, you know, your quality of sleep really can make your skin replenish better or worse. So she started this whole line using, you know, aromatherapy therapy, oils, and all these things to help you sleep better, and on top of it, give your skin benefits from the products. I don't actually have any of the products that really have a lot of that calming, soothing scent, but this is the Hypercharged Glass Skin Serum, and it is a beautiful serum. Uh, it is super hydrating. I'll show you what it looks like. So it's just, you know, a typical, you know, serum, kind of a gelish type of a texture that soaks into your skin. It has a very, very very barely discernible fragrance to it that's just yeah it's pretty much already gone so from what I understand from reading about it it's the other products in the line that help you sleep better as well as nourish your skin uh, but I was really grateful to have tried this because my skin has been looking fabulous in the morning when I use this Here's some more information about the Hypercharged Glass Skin Serum. They say it's a plumping serum with eight types of hyaluronic acids for clear, poreless, and almost translucent complexion. They say that it is a revolutionary and outstandingly efficient facial serum that features the world's most innovative combinations of eight different hyaluronic acids, high and low molecular, medium chain, liposomal, and cross-linked types to team up to form the most powerful formula for unmatched results. They say it provides intense, precious hydration of all skin skin layers. To enable the active ingredients to quickly reach their respective site of action, Beinach developed a unique carrier system that works like an elevator quickly moving between the different skin layers. They say that the glass skin complex features an unmatched combination of 13 highly efficient extracts with each of them contributing to a flawless even complexion. And I'll put the link to this below in case you want more information. Oh and I have a code at skin store that will save you 25%. I'll put that down below also. Let's go to a clothing item. Okay, these are my Spanx. They are faux leather, but they have this little stripe down the side. I'll insert some video of myself wearing them. They are so comfortable and they look really, really good. I've worn these as just like a t-shirt and cute tennis shoes, and I've worn them with boots with a sweater, and I just think they're super, super fun. I think that they make the booty look nice. They have a nice waistband that kind of sucks you in. Um, it's not a super, super thick one. You know, sometimes you can get a big, big lump from the waistband of things. This one doesn't tend to do that. I've had these for about a year now, and they look almost like they're new. When I wash them, I wash them inside out, inside of a laundry bag, and then I hang them dry. Don't ever put these into the dryer. And I thought that this leather look would totally wear off, but it really hasn't because when I was at Nordstrom last time, I took a look at a new pair to see, you know, oh my gosh, have mine, you know, gone downhill. I'm just curious. And they look pretty much the same. So I think the quality of these is great. I even bought my mom a pair as a gift a few months ago and she's enjoying them too. So um, yay Spanx. I really want to get the moto ones that they have. My friend Lisa has those. Oh my gosh, they look so darn good. And I'm so mad because during Black Friday, I thought I had placed an order 
order for a pair because they had 20% off the whole site. And somehow, I don't know what I did, but I must not have hit that final button and gotten distracted. And yeah, I never got the order. Oh well, at least the order I placed for my mom for Christmas, I got her a different pair of pants from Spanx. That came in, but yeah, I still have to get my hands on one of those Moto pairs of uh, Spanx. I've been trying a lot of Dermalogica products lately, and I've really been liking this one. This is the Super Rich Repair. This is from their Age Smart line, and it is so hydrating. If you like a really thick, heavy, moisturizing cream, you got it here. And this is the kind of thing I just love at night. So as you can see, you know, it's got some, you know, good, kind of body to it. I don't know if cream is, that's the correct term. I'm not a cosmetic chemist, but you know, it takes a while to kind of soak into your skin. You know, you feel that really emollient feeling. It's not like a Vaseline emollient when I say that, but it's really just got some, something to it. You know, it's not one of those ones that just sinks right in like a light gel or a cream. It is definitely a cream. So I've been really enjoying this during these winter days that we're running the heater a lot. And Oh, it smells so good. It smells to me like essential oils, kind of that spa-ish smell. I mean, not heavy, but you can definitely smell it. And, oh, but I don't get irritated by essential oils or fragrance at all in my skincare. Looking at the Super Rich Repair, they say that it's a deeply nourishing skin treatment for chronically dry, dehydrated skin. Heavyweight cream, see I told you it was heavyweight, helps replenish skin's natural moisture levels to defend against environmental assaults. Powerful peptides and an acid-free smoothing complex support skin's resilience and tone. Shea butter and oil of evening primrose help to replenish and hydrate, while antioxidants help defend against free radical damage. Now let's talk about some jewelry items. We'll be talking about my necklace and earrings. Uh, these are from the Curator Lifestyle Box. It's a quarterly subscription box. It used to be called Rachel Zoe's Box of Style. Rachel Zoe still curates it. They just changed the name and they kind of changed the way it gets packaged. It's still five full-sized items every quarter. This was from the fall box and I really like it. Uh, it's a very heavy weight chain. Uh, this is the size of it without an extender on it. I have an extender that I have clipped onto it a couple times that I wanted a longer necklace and uh, the earrings I think are super cute. They are heavy earrings. This is the type of thing that if I had to wear it for eight hours, my ears would be dying at the end. But if you're just wearing it for two or three hours, they're totally fine. But um, just, just know that if you look at these, um, they still, I think, sell, sell them on the Eddie Borgo site, I'm pretty sure. Uh, if you're looking into getting these, just know about the weight. They definitely have weight to them. I have one more clothing item after this last skincare item we're talking about. This is by City Beauty, and it's their cleanser. It is the Youth Rejuvenating Cleanser. They say that it's an intense a fast acting cleanser that gently exfoliates the skin for the deepest cleanse possible by harnessing the powerful benefits of dragon's blood botanical super fruit sourced from the Amazon. This rare and powerful gift visibly removes impurities resulting in softer, hydrated, and more even looking skin. You probably know if you've been following me for a while, I really like City Beauty products. I think they're a brand that really isn't talked about a lot. Uh, they're an independent brand. That's probably part of it. Uh, but I'll tell you this stuff, I really almost don't have to double cleanse with. I'd probably take off my eye makeup first using my Bioderma Sensi Bio, you know, on my eyes just to kind of get that off. But I have found this really does a great job removing makeup. I normally am a total double cleanse person. I have double cleansed using this, but you don't have to. This really, really cleans your skin well. So wanted to recommend this. The last item we're going to talk about is by my friend, Michelle Huang. This is her first merch that she put out. It is a beautiful wrap. It is half cashmere, half wool. She was formerly a knitwear designer, so she knows her fabric. She sourced this, I believe it was from Italy. You can see her logo woven in here, and it is just so nice. It's really, really large too. So if you were on an airplane or somewhere that you almost wanted a blankie, here you go. <laughs> you could, you know, definitely use it as that. It would totally cover you, or you could just use it um, as a wrap like this, or it's thin enough also to wear, I'm like getting tangled in it, where if you wanted to wear it kind of as a traditional scarf, you could certainly, you know, do that too, and it will keep you cozy. So I'm absolutely loving this. And it comes in a whole bunch of colors. So you should check out her website if you like the tangerine color or citrine or their grays and light blues and pinks. And oh my gosh, I just could not decide. I was so between about three colors, but I went with basic black in the end just because I figured it'd be the best thing to start with. And hopefully I can get more over time. I love having a really nice, wrap like this because when I was in my teens and early 20s, I got bronchitis every single year. Always it seemed like in November or December. And then one day I started wearing scarves and wraps and things like that and really kind of protecting my chest. 
and I really barely get it anymore. So that has been something that I have found to be really good. So I'm really loving this and I think it'll be great also like in the summer if I'm wearing a little sundress. It's small enough that I could keep it in my handbag um, and then I could wear it kind of as a little jacket if I needed it or just as a scarf. Oh gosh, I just looked down. I forgot an item that was sitting here right in front of me. This is the Clarins uh, Velvet Lip Perfector. I have to go past the French part and go to the part I can read in English. I love this. This squeezes out. It's got kind of a fuzzy applicator and it is just the most beautiful application. Uh, I have it on under this gloss. Um, actually, you know, I'm not going to put it on over that. You won't be able to tell, but it's like a really nice matte kind of a finish, but it's very high rating. You still have slit. It feels kind of like lipstick, but it looks super matte. This is just beautiful. I've worn it by itself and I normally can't stand liquid lipsticks. They're just too dry on me. Um, this has just a dot of my Kogan Doe gloss on top of it. Absolutely love it. And I've used a liner by Gerard Cosmetics, I think called Spice on my lips. So uh, that's the liner, this, and then a blob of Kogan Doe uh, gloss on top. And this has just become my favorite combo. So I had to call this out. I think I got this in a beauty subscription box or something. I just, I just don't even remember where I got this, but I love it. Now I'd love to know what have your favorites and fails been the last month or two. Let me know in the comments down below. Again, I would love if you consider joining my community by hitting that subscribe button and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.